Despite the media's lax coverage, Alabama Senator Richard Shelby is calling for a full-blown investigation now of ACORN. He's live with us this morning from Washington. Good morning to you, Senator. Good morning. I have to ask you, because we just played that clip of one of the most well-known journalists in the world, Charlie Gibson of ABC, saying, I don't know what you're talking about with that ACORN stuff. What is your response to that? Well, a lot of the other media, other than Fox, uh, has basically ignored these uh, stories dealing with ACORN. I don't know why, because these are some of the most revealing tapes that I have seen on TV. Uh, a lot of us have been watching ACORN, I have, for about 15 years. I believe there's pattern of corruption all throughout ACORN. Uh, uh, ballot problems, you know, trying to falsify ballots, child pornography and other things, uh, income tax deal. We need a thorough investigation by the Inspector General at the Housing Department and we also need a hearing and an investigation by the uh, committee, that uh, Banking Housing Committee that I sit on. I have asked Senator Dodd for that hearing. I hope we can follow through with it. Well, I'll tell you what, you've already taken action. It was it 24 hours ago? You voted 83 to 7, did the Senate, to cut off funding from HUD to this group. Now, when you turned around, obviously Democrats voted with you on this. Do you think Senator Dodd is going to go along with you now? Do they see the urgency or do they see Republicans against Democrats in this? I hope they see the urgency, and I hope they see that that uh, their uh, Acorn has been the benef uh, uh, has had millions and millions of taxpayers' dollars. We need to see how that money is being spent, and 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 oh, just millions and millions. And uh, they, I believe that they're basically a political wing of the Democratic Party, but where they're corrupt and they're using taxpayers' money, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, you ought to be for this investigation. It's interesting what you just said, that they are you know, a political wing of the Democratic Party. It, it, you go back a couple of years, and when they were just accused of voter fraud, you know, nobody really got too excited. Yeah, that's just a political thing. It's only the democracy. Yeah, that's balance. just the Republicans there complaining. But now that they've added the element of prostitution, child prostitution, and money laundering, uh, people have actually gotten some attention, except, as Gretchen pointed out, in the mainstream media. Is this another example where the mainstream media covering for the Democrats? Well, I, I would, uh, that's what a lot of people believe, but I believe is this story, this story is going to get hotter. And it's going, and I believe the mainstream media, they're going to have more than egg on, them, on their faces if they don't pick this up because this is important to the American people. They see the corruption. They see the misuse of funds. And whether, as I said, you're a liberal, uh, Democrat or not, you ought to be for honesty and well-spent taxpayers' money. But won't this go all the way to the top, Senator? Because President well, Obama has spoken positively about ACORN. This quote during the campaign, I've been fighting alongside, alongside ACORN on issues you care about my entire career. Even before I was an elected official when I ran the Project Vote voter registration drive in Illinois, ACORN was smack dab in the middle of it and we appreciate your work. I mean, what kind of work well, are you going to have to do to get the president involved in this, not to mention the Attorney General, Eric Holder? You think he's going to investigate this? Well, I would be doubtful if either one of them got involved in it, but if the president ordered an investigation today, it would start today. If the attorney general ordered an investigation today, but I might be holding my breath while that happens. Yeah, but the problem is they're focused on detainee rights. We've got to make sure those people uh, get their day in court. Senator, but these... Probably vo uh, right. focused on the wrong issues. I would think so. <laughs> Senator, but the bottom line is what Gretchen just read, those are noble causes. I mean, making sure people have a voice, those who want to get their first-time mortgages, the people that are victims of corruption that need tax help. As long as it's legal. Causes, right. But ACORN is ruining it for all those people and organizations out there who legitimately want to do it. Well, we've got to get corruption out of any organization that's taking taxpayers' money, and I believe uh, ACORN would be at the top. And thank God uh, that you guys are at Fox are pushing this issue. You need to. Well, uh, let me ask you this. Um, we haven't really heard from Nancy Pelosi either, uh, as, as well as the president, regarding all this. Stuff. I'm sure that when the president does that Sunday uh, morning uh, telethon, newsathon, where he's on all the channels except Fox, somebody's going to bring it up. But, uh, Senator, would you call on the president to speak out and against ACORN if these allegations are true? I think that what he should do and the attorney general should do is launch this investigation now. Let's find out 
how deep this goes, how broad it goes. I think it's deep. A lot of other people do. We cannot ignore this. ACORN is not above the law. And if the president doesn't call for an investigation or the attorney general, don't you think politically it would look at, as if the administration were covering for ACORN? Oh, absolutely. It looked like they were looking the other way when they should be involved. Yeah. If, they really, if they really care about the taxpayers, they're going to get involved in this. All right. Well, Senator, you've made the request in a letter to committee chair Chris Dodd. That's the first step. Please let us know immediately when you hear back from him and what his answer is. I will. Thank okay. you a lot. Thanks, Senator. Good to see you this morning.